Right, we're going to move on now. Do you keep the lights on when you watch the film mentioned in Saturday's Guardian, Nick? Watership Down is now rated PG after 45 years of terrifying children. And I never, to answer your question, Andrew, really saw a big problem with uh, Watership Down. I remember Bar um, Barbie. I've got Barbies in my head. I remember yeah. Bambi being far more traumatic. Well, Bambi's when the traumatic mother because dies. of the, the loss of the Shocking. mother. Yeah. Yeah. And but, the, but and it's not gory in the way that no. Watership Down is gory. And the Snowman, gory. which is a classic, is surprisingly sad at the very end. The snowman just gone at the very end. It just ends, and that's yeah. it. We've oh, got an image here oh, of here Watership, Down. Watership Down. Yeah, that is quite scary. Actually. It is scary. No, but it's, it's worse than that. It's the, it's the blood and gore. It's, blood and it's the tearing, tearing the, the rabbits throat. apart. There it is. I mean, Ooh. that is like the stuff of Freddy Krueger right there. It's quite bad, actually. I yeah. don't remember that. Maybe I saw a sanitised version. No, no, it's very, very violent. And you're right, there are sort of, like, the snowman, poignant kind of yeah, uh, children's stories. There's the one, the follow-up to the snowman, When the Wind Blows, where this uh, sweet elderly couple who are worried about a nuclear war and they sort of settle in and build a, a hutch and then they die of radiation sickness at the end. So that, that's I didn't the, watch yeah, that. That's the I kind mean, of thing that, you know... But I didn't, apparently people. one scene, a bird, a bird tells the rabbits to pee off. I don't know if I'm allowed to even say it on this show. Sorry, go on. No, you, no exactly. It's so... Uh, so rude. So rude. Lewis, um... Watership Down was always disturbing. I found it very disturbing yeah. as a child. It was very gory. But it's very interesting that it can go from a U rating, say, 30, 40 years ago, yeah. now to a PG. Is this indicative of a society that is becoming more infantilised, that we're saying to, that people are becoming more hypersensitive? Is that what's going on here? Is there an anthropological trend that we can trace? Um... I think they're treating children as, ad as adults. <laughs> Lewis, I don't know what you mean by that. You keep saying that. I don't know what you mean. Because they're thinking children can handle everything. No, because... they're saying they can't because they're saying this should be a PG. They need parental guidance to what no, rabbits being you, taught about. No, but you, but you, wait, you is, oh, you is bad. No, you is good. You is good. You, you is like the, the classification. The least... Well, because, okay, I didn't understand that. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, remember, Andrew, I'm You're not in this country. I have no okay. idea. No, Lewis, a, a you never... is, is like anyone, anyone can watch it. A anyone. baby can watch it. Oh, okay. I thought it was like you was bad. No. All right, I, I thought, cause, cause PG in America is good. Okay, and let me tell, let me answer that question because this story is is goes against the vegan narrative because it shows, <laughs> it shows animals killing each other. It yeah. shows animals dying with. Out the hand of you, not at the hand. How of is humans. that against the vegan narrative? Because because the belief system is that animals live happy lives in the wild and die peaceful deaths surrounded by their friends. I don't know a single vegan who would yes. deny that there is a food chain and yeah. animals eat each other. Also, no, there, there weren't vegans in 1978. You would deny it because when it came I, out. And you know something? Number one is I'm an American. I never saw this thing. I never saw this program. Okay, that, look, that, that's clear. We, okay. We've got to go to a break now. But uh, coming up in the final.